everybody, and welcome to day five of the 2023 Advent Calendar Series here on Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. And we've got Mr. Lau joining us from Eau Claire, rocking his way through the Volume 1 Advent Calendar. And as always, Ross and I are championing our way through the Three Cellars Advent Calendar this year. So two different Advent Calendars, two different beers, and Ross and I are going to jump right in. So again, Ross knows what we're about to drink. I have no idea. My wife packaged my beer up in this fancy little <laughs> thing box because it's dry. <laughs> still waiting for my box to dry. It's actually pretty dry, but I didn't really want to. Yeah, got that box out, man. So, so <laughs> anyways, uh, we got a can, and we've got a perfect. We've got a ho ho hold my beer. Um, this is a Christmas ale from Component Brewing Company here in Milwaukee. Um, very, very cool. 7.1% ABV. Are there any other descriptors? Ah, yep. yes. Okay. So you got it? Or yeah, go ahead. This ale combines the perfect touch of cinnamon, ginger, orange zest, and hand grated nutmeg. Mm -mm -mm. With a splash of vanilla to make this a well-balanced winter treat, you're going to want to ho ho hold onto this one. Um, maybe. Um, <laughs> I mean, look, we'll see. I'm a big fan of Component. I like a lot of things they do. I really like their tap room down in uh, Bayview and the Lincoln Warehouse. But let's be honest, these ingredients aren't. Aren't this is really like, up our flat. Like it's, I already know I'm not going to like this. Don't even have to open it. I'll hold out hope, but we had a ginger beer last year on the channel. It did not go well. We had one ginger beer from a different brewery a while ago. It wasn't good. Like We know we got a big fan of ginger and beer, so... Yes. Not All right. Well, maybe, maybe this will surprise crack you. this Christmas ale open and get it in the glass. So... Kind of it a darker amber. Much darker than I was expecting. Yeah, it, it's really darkening up as it pours. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of carbonation. Tons yeah, of tiny carbonated. tons of tiny carbonation bubbles. It's actually a pretty looking beer. Um, not a, really a pillowy head. Um, definitely a very bubbly head on there, yeah. but decent champagne. head. Champagne. Yeah, that's a good descriptor for it. Um, oh. To the nose we go oh before we go to the nose look at how matched we all are folks wisconsin 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 <laughs> i mean we're cool yeah pretty cool right. to the nose we go that's that's a word this is a, this is entertaining it actually smells maltier and hoppier than I was expecting. I'm not actually, get, I'm not getting a ton of ginger on the nose. I'm getting cinnamon and the orange zest are the two, the two notes I'm getting mainly on it. Yeah. There, yeah, there's a bit of cinnamon there. I think the orange zest is coming through even more than the cinnamon for me, which is probably good. I mean, I don't want a ton of ginger or cinnamon on this. If this has a good hot bitterness to it, I'm going to be very happy because it'll cut through, I think, some of that stuff you and I don't like. So Agreed. So I'm curious. Right. Should we try it? Absolutely. Cheers. Curious to see what Cheers. you two think. Cheers. I think I like it more on the second sip than I did on the first. The ginger Absolutely. punched me in the taste buds on the first sip. But the it, bitterness, the bitterness actually helped cut that ginger a little bit on the second sip. There is a, a it's not a big bitterness, but it's there. Um, however, those flavors that it says it's going to bring out are there. I mean, well done, I guess, on what they're going for. It is. It, you taste the cinnamon, you taste the nutmeg, you taste the ginger. Um, you know, it actually it hits the flavor profile I really want to hit. I wouldn't say it's something I really enjoy, though. Um, yeah. It's a well-made beer, and that's that's one of those like, weird disappointing ones where it's like, I don't like the flavor profile, 
but the flavors are all that they're really going for. Um, I don't know that it's hot bitterness, but definitely like all the flavors really hit you on the front. Like it, it's yeah. not like it's not like there's there's a change as you go th- from the front end through the back end of the beer. Like it's like bam, here's everything. Mm-hmm. But the cinnamon and and the gi- the ginger's definitely there. It's gonna yeah. be in a beer like this, but it. it Again, th- that hot bitterness I feel like cuts into it pretty quick, mid palate, and then you just kind of get a good blend of all of those notes as you described, like out the back. Yeah. It, to be fair, while I'm not a huge fan of this, just from a personal taste perspective, mm-hmm. this is probably one of my favorite one favorite beers of this style with these types of ingredients that I've probably ever tried. It's actually drinkable for me. I, I, I think you and I are on the exact same page with this. Like, I completely agree. Like, it's it's outside my style, but lots of respect for what they did here. I think they hit it really well. And, you know, we, we said actually in the last one, while you were asking some questions, like, do you rate beers differently based on flavor, pro- like, because yeah. of adjuncts and all that? And this is a good example where it's really well made. They did a really good job of hitting the flavor notes. But a preference style, it's just I don't like ginger. I don't like cinnamon. I'm not a big fan of nutmeg and beer. I mean, they literally put... The first three ingredients here are like three of my five least favorite ingredients in beer, and they're right there. So I should put blueberries in it. Exactly, that would like just set me over with cranberry <laughs> too. That's it. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Untapped rating us one through five. Where are you going? I am. I'm putting this at three and a quarter, and honestly, the only reason I'm giving it three and a quarter is purely on the quality of how they made it. And I'm, it's just losing a lot of points because of my personal preference. But I mean, it's really well made beer. It's really well done. Um, props to Component for putting some out there like this. I think if you like this style, this is going to be very high on your list of Christmas beers that you want to get. I'm actually going to leapfrog you and go three five. Flirting with a three seven five. I actually was considering going that high out of respect. To how well they brewed the style. It's hard for me if you saw my first reaction to this beer. It's hard for me to put a beer north of a 375 if I can't say I would ever want want to drink it again. Um, if that gives you any explanation, Andy. But like it, yeah, no, it makes sense. The three and a half, I think, is a fair score. And if you like these kinds of beers, it's probably a 3754 in this beer category in reality so not that these are out all year long but if i'm gonna if someone's gonna hand me a christmas beer and it's one of these hey give me a ho ho hold my beer um i'll i'll, I'll take one the untapped yeah. average is 3.83 okay in case you were okay. wondering yeah and probably somebody who's ordering this on purpose knows what they're getting themselves into i hope one would think I'd try it. I would definitely suggest anyone to try it. I mean, it's it's unique in that sense. Mm-hmm. So, you tried Pop Goes too. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah <laughs> I'll, 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 Sounds good. Well, so try. <laughs> uh, all, right. all right. What you got? I don't know. Volume one. No. Hillsboro Brewing Company. Oh. Know them? I assume it's in Hills, in Hillsboro. Yes, it is. It is. I got a Joe Beer Porter. Okay. Oh, nice. They actually, they actually had a really good stout. The the only beer I've had from them is is their stout. I think it was like the Don't Sweat or something like that. Yeah. Dark smooth and delicious. Right. No, I know we had undertones. Her. A classic porter. I'm I'm down. Let's see what this let's see what this thing tastes like. A classic porter. I'm guessing a little bit smoky, roasted, a little chocolate uh, going on. Yeah. So, and pour it in here. That's pretty much what I expected. I mean, or something right now. Decent amount of carbonation. I feel like, which I guess is a good sign that it didn't go flat or something. I don't know how long it's been sitting around. The can looks like it. I feel like the can looks like it maybe was made a long time ago. I don't know why. I think it's just their label. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, they have a bit of a old school style yeah. to them. Oh yeah, there's like the smokiness and maybe a little. I mean, it's a chocolatey notes, and maybe you get a little of that chocolate undertones kind of come through. But I mean, it smells like porter. It smells delicious. I have a feeling this is going to taste quite, quite lovely. Quite lovely. Quite lovely. Let's find out. Cheers. No cheers. Ooh, cheers. Hmm. I don't get any like of that smokiness that I was uh, getting on the nose in the beer, yeah. which is surprising. It's a lot more. It is. It is fairly heavily carbonated. I feel like it's quite even on the tongue. It's got a lot of bubbles going on. Let me take another sip. Well, maybe I get that smokiness now. Yeah, like right away, there's not a whole lot going on there. It is like surprisingly light. It has a surprisingly light taste to it. Being, you know, kind of a porter, I kind of would have expected more like full flavors coming at me as soon as I drink it. But <clears throat> as I kind of sit here and let it kind of linger and go through the back end, like I get that smokiness and that kind of classic porter taste on the top. It's, it's not That's bad. Good. It, it's with the it's good. undertone. Do you get like a sweetness, a bitterness, or you're not getting anything well off that really? Not really getting maybe a slight hint of like sweetness right there in the middle, but oh. not not a lot of that. Like there there's not really a lot to it. It's surprisingly easily easy to drink. Not surprisingly, but it's very easy to drink. Um and and I, I do enjoy that kind of finish of that really, really late finish of that smokiness kind of coming through, which seems weird. I thought I was going to get that right away after smelling it. And it took almost until I like was ready to take a second sip to to get anything off. Of it. OK. All right. Okay. I wonder what it would do if you put in something like if you messed with it and tried to make it into like a Christmas porter and threw in some of those other flavors or something else fun to it. I wonder what this beer would would do with that. But. As as it is, it it's it's a solid on solid. The episode, is it? <laughs> on the next episode of the Advent Calendar series, Mr. Lau pours different holiday spices into his porter to see what happens. <laughs> Do you want me to go grab some nutmeg quick and no, a little fresh on that? No, see how no. see how that goes. No, no. rating no. one through five for Hillsborough's porter. Where are you putting that beer? I'll you know I'll throw it at a three and a half. I think. It's it's solid. It's it's not knocking me off, not blowing not blowing me away. Um, but it's it's a it's a real good porter. It's it's tasty. It's it's easy to drink. You could drink a few of them sitting there at the bar, hanging out, watching some football. Nice, good. Yeah, well, I've heard good things shot. about Hillsboro, and the little bit that I've had from them, I remember being decent. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, not a new one, but I think probably a rarer. Oh, yeah. brewery in the state yeah so very cool i'd never heard of it so super fun well we are five beers in um five days in to the advent calendar series we have got 19 to go we are in the teens we've made it all the way to the teens so you've only got 19 of these episodes coming at you <laughs> over the next 19 days um, but we're having fun with this. Hopefully you are as well. And hopefully you're drinking Absolutely. these right along with us. Let us know what you think in the comments. Outside of that, thanks for watching. And we will see all of you in the next episode. Thanks, everyone. Later. Bye. Bye.